Hello, fourth grade. So today we are reading chapter 23. And chapter 23 holds, uh, just to recap what happened before, we know that Stanley has agreed to help out Zero in learning how to read, right? As a result of, of, of Zero being so kind to Stanley, uh, they made this partnership. So now he's going to help him how to read. Uh, we also know that um, Stanley finally realizes what that famous gold tube everybody's been talking about is from, right? So he remembered that KB actually were initials that he had seen before. And KB stood for Kate Barlow, the woman, kissing Kate Barlow, well, the woman who uh, robbed his grandfather uh, a while back, right? And so that's where we're at so far. So let's go ahead and get started. Chapter 23. 110 years ago, Green Lake was the largest lake in Texas. It was full of clear, cool water, and it sparkled like a giant emerald in the sun. It was especially beautiful in the spring, oh, when the peach trees, which lined the shore, they bloomed with pink and rose-colored blossoms. There was always a town picnic on the 4th of July. They'd play games, they'd dance, swing, swim in the lake to keep cool. And prizes were awarded for the best peach pie and peach jam. A special prize was given every year to Miss Catherine Barlow for her fabulous spiced peaches. No one else. No one else even tried to make spice peaches because they knew none could be as delicious as hers. And every summer, Miss Catherine would pick bushels of peaches and preserve them in these jars with cinnamon and cloves, nutmeg, and other spices which she kept secret. Let's hear from our questioners. Questioners, pose a question to the class. What would be a good question to ask right about now? The jarred peaches will last all winter. They probably would have lasted a lot longer than that, but they were always eaten by the end of the winter. It was said that Green Lake was heaven on earth. And that Miss Catherine's spice peaches were the food of the angels. Catherine Barlow was the town's only school teacher. She taught in an old one room schoolhouse. It was old even then. The roof leaked, the windows couldn't open. The door hung crooked on its bent hinges. Oh, she was a wonderful teacher, full of knowledge and full of life, and the children loved her. She taught classes in the evening for adults, and many of adults loved her as well. She was very pretty. Her classes were often full of young men who were a lot more interested in the teacher than they were in getting an education. But all they ever got was an education. Let's hear from our connectors. Connectors, let's hear. What connections do you have so far? Now one such young man was Trout Walker. His real name was Charles Walker, but everyone called him Trout because his two feet smelled like a couple of dead fish. Okay, word wizards, what does the word trout mean? I want to have one person read the sentence before we find trout within the word, which is trout, and the sentence after the word trout. 
Second person is going to tell me the clue words that might kind of help me find out what trout is. And the third person gives me what is the meaning of the word trout. That's right. The meaning of the word trout should be a fish. Let's continue on. Now, this wasn't entirely Trout's fault. He had an incurable foot fungus. In fact, it was the same foot fungus that 110 years later would afflict the famous ball player, Clyde Livingston. But at least Clyde Livingston showered every day. I'll take a bath every Sunday morning. Yeah, Trout would brag. Why do I need to or not? Most everyone in the town of Green Lake expected Miss Catherine to marry Trout Walker. So I'm going to go ahead and score for those summarizers. Summarizers, can you tell me what is one main idea that I've covered so far? What is the main idea we've covered so far? Now he was a son of the richest man in the county. His family owned most of the peach trees and all the land on the east side of the lake. Trout often showed up at night school but never paid attention. He talked in class and was disrespectful of the students around him. He was loud and stupid. A lot of men in town were not educated, you see? And that didn't bother Miss Catherine. She knew they'd spend most of their lives working on farms and ranches and hadn't much schooling. And that's why she was there, to teach them. But Trout, oh, didn't want to learn. He seemed to be proud of his stupidity. How'd you like to take a ride on my new boat this Saturday? He asked her one evening after class. No, thank you, said Miss Catherine. Inferencers, what can you infer so far about either one of the characters or about the situation? What can you tell based on your own knowledge? Okay, so some of you guys probably had some great inferences. One of the things you can infer is that I could kind of tell that Trout Walker is not a very kind man, right? He's arrogant. He thinks he knows everything. He is the richest man in the county. And so it doesn't seem like he's such a friendly man, especially when he's going there and he doesn't really care about getting the education. He's being rude. He's talking uh, when other older people are trying to get an education. We've got a brand new boat, he said. You don't even have to row it. Yes, I know, said Miss Catherine. Everyone in town had seen and heard that Walker's new boat. It was a horrible, loud noise, and it spewed ugly black smoke over the beautiful lake. Chot had always gotten everything he wanted. He found it hard to believe that Miss Catherine had turned him down. He pointed his finger at her and said, No one ever says a no to Charles Walker. Well, I believe I just did, said Catherine Barlow. Predictors, what do you think is going to happen? based on the clues that you know. And summarizers, what do you think were like the main ideas uh, starting from beginning, middle, and end? And with that, we are ending. We'll see you next time. Wonderful, wonderful job. So I hope you tuned in into that clue that the school teacher is Catherine uh, Barlow as well, okay? So that that is the school teacher's name. Also the same name that is in the golden tube.